Snow capping on the crowns of incisors and molars without pulpal obliteration is seen in the options are amylogenesis imperfecta and MIH that is molar incisal hypermineralization. Then we have dentinogenesis imperfecta which is with MIH again hypermineralization of the molars and incisors, Turner's tooth and environmental enamel hypoplasia. Now snow capped teeth looks like this. There is a layer of frosty appearance on the incisors as you can see in the image over here which is characteristic of amylogenesis imperfecta. This is Whitcop's classification. Four types according to Whitcop are hypoplasia, hypomaturation, hypocalcification and combination with torodontism. If you see the second variety that is snow cap teeth which is an autosomal dominant trait associated with amylogenesis imperfecta. Now the explanation is pretty crisp here. So snow capped hypomaturation patterns exhibit a zone of opaque enamel on incisal or occlusal one quarter or one third of the crown. They do not have uh, any environmental origin. There is no environmental uh, cause associated with this. There is no sheen or shine on this. There might be some amount of fluorosis. The affected teeth often demonstrate an anterior to posterior distribution and may be compared with denture dipped in white paint. This uh, description is important. O only affected anteriors and the anteriors back to the bicuspids or anteriors back to the molars. Both the deciduous and permanent dentition are affected. Okay, so the same kind of an appearance here you can see snow capped teeth associated with amylogenesis imperfecta. That is option. One.